Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that's gonna be kind of simple and kind of bringing us back down to the basics, but it's something I get a lot of questions on, especially during this time of year when Sensi is offering their holiday brick promotion. This is a brick. It is a whole lot of fabulousness and I love it. You guys know how much I love the bricks. Um, in case you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll stick around. You might be looking at this like, oh my goodness, <laughs> who needs that much wax? Uh, in the right scent, me. I need this much wax and a whole lot of you. <laughs> So I know there are many of you who get just as excited as I do for the brick promotions because bricks are not available all year for an individual order. You can um, order bricks in this size through Scentsy Club, which is our subscription service, um, in some select fragrances. But it used to be that you could get um, bricks in all of the fragrances in the catalog. That was amazing. But I think that was just a little bit difficult to like keep up with because these bad boys are all hand poured. This is a bar. So you can see the difference here. These bars are poured by huge machines, which is fantastic. Um, makes it nice and easy for home office to get all of, get all of these bars out and get them um, in your homes. But because of the size of these, these are all hand poured. So this is not poured by a machine. Um, so there's a lot of love and work that goes into these. I greatly appreciate the love and effort that goes into these for sure. So, uh, but this is, these are not offered all year. Like I was saying, this is something that is usually typically offered just during the holidays for holiday brick promotions. There are limited time fragrances for these enormous bricks. Um, sometimes they're even in some catalog favorite fragrances as well. So um, maraschino sugar cookie is one of them. And you guys know how much I love this scent. I know a lot of you love this, not everyone, but I know a lot of you love it as well. So um, as you're getting your bricks, you're probably, you're seeing this and you're like, okay, so now what do I do? <laughs> how, now I've, I have this, now I have this amazing brick. How am I going to break this up? Because when you open your brick, this is what you're going to see. Bink. This is what you're gonna see. So you see this big hunk of wax here. Um, and so a lot of you are like, well, what, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? So I wanna show you um, kind of some basics on how you can section and cut your bricks. Don't overthink it. Um, I have some soap cutters that I'm going to show you that I really enjoy using. So you can buy those if you want to, um, or you can just use a butter knife, just be careful. Um, so there is no right or wrong way to it, but I just figured this is worth doing and sharing for anyone who Maybe this is gonna be your first brick experience. So I uh, figured it was worth sharing with you. I have this brick here. This is like a perfectly brand new brick. So I just, I don't wanna break this one up yet. So what I will tell you, and we're gonna actually hop over into the kitchen where I usually do my brick cutting. Um, and I'm gonna show you a better view of how I actually cut the brick cubes because I don't recommend putting an entire brick cube in one warmer, depending on what the warmer is you can. Um, I just, I don't know. I just, it, like I said, it depends. <laughs> this is definitely going to be too much wax for a mini warmer clearly, but some of our full size warmers, this is going to be, an, you can put a whole cube of wax in. I just feel like I don't want to waste an entire, or not waste, but I'd like to prolong the life of my brick and the wax. So usually for full size warmers, I'll just cut these brick cubes into half. Um, for the mini warmers, what I'll do is I'll cut them into quarters. So, and then and we're gonna do that together here in just a second. But when you have this brick as a whole, you're probably like, well, okay, do I just pop the whole thing out? What do, what do I do? So I want to show you. So what I do personally, and hopefully I'm not going to have like little crumbs of wax everywhere. <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of bend the clamshell just like that. This is, It's a food grade paraffin wax, so it's nice and soft. It's not too hard. And you can see just with me bending that, I was able to break apart those two cubes. So then I will pop out the two cubes, and depending on how many warmers you are are needing to fill you can then bend this is like being super awkward here <laughs> you, if you just want one cube out normally i'll pop out two at a time but you can then bend again you, you saw i popped out two here um you can bend again and you have now sectioned just one cube out at a time so that's how you'll take it out you can pop the whole brick out and then start to break it apart that way too like i said there is no right and wrong way i just figured i would show you 
um, the, the method that I use because um, this is something that I get asked about all the time for people who are newer to the brick world and you're like oh, what the heck am I supposed to do how do I do this I don't want to do it wrong you know I don't want to mess anything up I don't want to overflow my warmers so I am here to help you and <laughs> not to panic. So bricks are something to be excited about, not to be stressed out about. So you have your brick cube here. So this is the cube that we're talking about when we say we will cut it in half, or if you want to cut it into quarters, you can do that too. So um, I just wanted to show you kind of that part of it. But now let's go ahead and hop into the kitchen and I'm going to show you how I cut up my brick cubes with these handy dandy little soap cutters that I actually purchased on Amazon. If I can remember, I will link it down below in the description for the soap cutters that I had actually purchased, but there's no like special soap cutters or anything like that. You can you can go anywhere. In fact, I actually have a girlfriend who said that they um, had gotten the crinkle cutter from Pampered Chef and they can use that as well. I would just say make sure whatever you do purchase for your wax cutting, you keep it just for wax. <laughs> you can wash these up and still use it for food if you want to, but um, I would say, I don't know, I, I would say just make it your like specific wax cutting tool. That way you're not mixing with food and stuff like that. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the kitchen and get to some brick cutting. Okay, so who's ready to cut up a brick? I know I'm, and there's something so satisfying about chopping up some wax <laughs> like it's just it's really there's just something to it but i absolutely love it um okay so this is the set i was telling you guys about this is um it came as a set of two and these are actually called soap cutters so you have one that has this like crinkly design if you are I don't, if you're a consultant yourself and that's how you make samples you can totally just like use these to cut up uh bars as well and give have little like zigzag designs if you will um or you can have almost like a bench scraper where it's just a flat uh, a flat edge so this came as a set of two uh, i like i said i just got these on amazon you can probably get them at michael's and some other places as well or like i said pampered chef um so so this is just what i use but um in the earlier like brick cutting days i would just use a butter knife just make sure if you're using a knife of any kind just to be careful but this it's just it just cuts through so easily and i like that there's a handle gives me more control which i really like as well so okay so as i showed you when you first get your brick in to kind of bend that clamshell so that way you're kind of sectioning um, you're sectioning your brick cubes kind of on your own just by like bending the clamshell itself so you can pop it out so we've got one brick cube here and as i mentioned i would recommend doing um just if you have a full size warmer to do half or even like three quarters of a of a sensi brick cube in a lot of our full size warmers you can actually put a full brick cube in but like i said for me i've got a lot of warmers so i'd rather just like prolong the life of my brick so i will just go ahead and cut them in half so i will just take my soap cutter here and just cut right down the middle and do you see how just that was so easy i don't know if you even saw i think my arm was in the way but um i'll show you again i'm gonna do another one and even for your mini warmers um so you can take your half and then you can quarter it so i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this very well but so then you've got enough for your mini warmer so you've got that and then you can take this other piece and put it into another mini warmer and then you've got this piece here that will be perfect for a full size warmer so and same goes with it's the same exact thing if you're using the other soap cutter or a knife like i said just make sure you're being super careful not to like chop your fingers off <laughs> i think a butter knife you're probably it's gonna take some real force to really cut your your finger off with a butter knife but um okay so you've got the same thing you've got your edge here or maybe you can see better that way um so you've got just the the edge here and you just push down think. and then you've got your brick cube all cut up and ready to warm. So pretty perfect. 
Also, if you are sensitive to fragrance and maybe, um, I know a few people who will actually take Scentsy bar cubes, the smaller bars, um, they will take the Scentsy bar cubes and they'll cut those um, as well, kind of cut those down. So you, these come in super handy for cutting the um, the bar cubes as well if that's if that's something that you would need. So there you have it. That is how you cut up your Scentsy brick cubes. All right, friends, so I hope you found that helpful. Like I said, I know this is kind of a basic video or something that might seem kind of silly to go over for some people, but this is something I do get asked quite a bit, and I get it because if you see the size of the brick and you, especially when you get it at home for the first time and you're like, oh man, what did I just commit to? <laughs> Like, how am I supposed to get this much wax into my warmer? So don't feel like it's a silly question at all. This is actually something, um, a video that I like to do once a year during this time when we are doing the brick promotion. Uh, it's good just to kind of go over and just say, hey, just a heads up, you don't have to put the whole cube in. <laughs> you can cut it up and really prolong the life of your brick. So hope you found it helpful. Uh, comment down below if you use the soap cutting method, if you use a butter knife, if you use a different method altogether, if you're like, you know what, screw it, I'm just using a whole dang brick cube in my warmer because I'm just living my best life. <laughs> I totally get it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe if you're already subscribe, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Sensi. Have an amazing day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.